So once again, my brother, brother Kenneth Carr Power is here with us. Uh, he is here in Maryland now working with us at First Baptist Church of Glen Arden as part of our staff. He formerly served as a pastor at a church called Restoration Church in Chicago with his wife. Mm -hmm. They passed it there. But as God will have it, he has been shifted. <laughs> I brought him here for such a That's time right. as this. And we're so That's grateful right. that we've been able to make this connection. He's blessed us many Amen. times. And certainly we're grateful whenever God allows him to come and share. So come on, my brother, and share what's on your heart. Amen. God bless you, Reverend Letty. Thank you for another opportunity to just um, share with you on this wonderful and powerful um, a platform that God has given you for prayer um, is one of our, our main passions in ministry. My wife and I, we just love to pray. and We love Amen. to seek the Lord um, after being raised in church all of my life. And, uh, <laughs> you know, from playing church to God uh, not playing with me. That's right. <laughs> and the Lord began to change my life. And I found God in the prayer room, which is what my mother did. Um, while we were growing up, she was always in a prayer room. And that is Amen. a place that's close to my heart. And so it's always an honor and a privilege to um, to speak a word of life into God's people, to the believers, to those of you that are uh, maybe struggling with prayer. You know, you don't know how to pray or those of you that are saying, God, I want you to take my prayer life to a whole nother level. I I've been in those places where um, I, I got on my knees for about uh five minutes and I was either asleep or uh, I didn't know what else to say um, to the point of yet seeking the Lord and uh, yet um, uh, studying his word to teach me how to pray. And I want to tell you that prayer is not a hard thing. It's a very uh, easy thing for you to do. It's just conversating between you and God. Um, he's not looking for big words. He's not looking for um, uh, uh, um, uh, a long sentence. He just want to hear your heart. He said, close the door and come in. And when, when he tells us to close the door in the word of God, um, don't, he said, don't pray like the hypocrites. Don't pray like the, the uh, Sadducees. Don't, don't pray like them. I don't want the big swelling words. I want you to go into the closet and just, and talk to me. Uh, in other words, talk to me. Um, but um, I, I want to give you this, this, this word for today in my seven, eight minutes that I have to um, to share with you. I want to put this nugget in you. For those of you that are in the place that you've been praying and um, and the Lord has been blessing you in prayer, but you have this feeling of, God, I, I want my prayer life to go to a whole new level. I, I want I want you to do something great in my life. I want you to just begin to break some things. I know some of us, we know about bloodline curses and bloodline assignments from the enemy, um, or there, there's a cycle that the enemy has created in your life. And you've been talking to God about it, but but it seemed like something is not breaking. And I, I want to tell you this today, that um, that when um, as severe as your problem is, it, that that's the more intense your prayer life should be. Many of us, when we go through things, we want to back up off of prayer or we want to stay away from the believers. But uh, and that's the complete opposite of what we should be doing when things begin to happen in our lives. I, I found out in my life, I'll make it personal, so I won't um, uh, uh, talk about anyone else. But um, when I begin to go through severe things in my life, the Lord led me even in my life of prayer to intensify my prayer life even the more. And there's a uh, there, there's a scripture that I or there's a passage of scriptures that I want to share with you that is going to help us to identify what that level of prayer is. I, I, I love this word uh, in uh, Luke, the 18th chapter, beginning at the first verse. And I'm going to read on down to probably the eighth verse. It says this. Uh, this is uh, Jesus uh, giving a parable about what it means to persist right to persist in prayer and he says this he says and he told them a parable to the effect that uh they ought always to pray and not lose heart he said in a certain city there was a judge who neither feared god nor respected man and there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying give me justice against my adversary for a while he refused, but afterward he said to himself, though I neither 
feared God, nor respect man. Number five, he says, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, <laughs> he keeps, she keeps bothering me, I will give her justice so that she will not beat me down by her continual coming. And the Lord said, hear what the unrighteous judge says, and will not God give justice to his elect who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will give justice to them speedily. Oh, somebody, that, that's a praise break right there. I will give justice to those speedily. Uh, nevertheless, when the son of man comes, will he find faith on earth? And the word of the Lord is blessed. I, I have one power word normally uh, on our prayer line from Monday through Friday. We, we normally uh, give one power word of the day. And that's what I want to do in this last few minutes. I want to give you one power word of the day. I know we've heard the word persistence, uh, persistent um, in this particular text. Um, and this is just um, uh, an example of what of what God, Jesus began to speak about um, to help us to understand what 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 pressing, what that persistence mean. Because many times um, when we don't get our way the first time or we get our first no, sometimes we get discouraged and then we just fall back and we just say, oh, forget it. We lose all faith and all hope. But but here it's a great example when Jesus is saying that this woman now remember that the judge did did not regard a man or he and he disregarded God. And so, you know, when you when you go to that ultimate, he has I mean, he's uh, he don't care about nobody he's just he's just his own he but he probably believed that he was god but i don't want to focus on that what i want to show you is this woman that although this king or he had or the judge sorry not the king but the judge had this particular attitude her faith caused her to press irregardless of the judge may have been saying no or probably not anything at all but because of her persistent and prayer, how the judge um, uh, ruled in her favor. And I want to tell you this, if an unjust judge can rule in a favor through because of persistence, how much more will God, hallelujah, how much more will God uh, uh, move for us in that level of prayer? When you think about persistence, you think about perseverance. I, I, at least I do. I think about perseverance. Perseverance. It just, um, um, uh, it just, it just simply means. Give me a second here. I'm, I'm going to give it to you. Perseverance. It simply means persistence in doing something despite the difficulty or delay. And this is my word for you today. I want to encourage those of you that are prayer warriors. Now, see, when you're going through tests and trials, determine what's really in you. Because if you really stand on faith and you got trust, total trust in God, no matter what you're going through, maybe you have received uh, a diagnosis from the doctor just recently, or maybe you heard some bad news about your family or loved one. Maybe um, you're going through financially or you're going through physically, emotionally, mentally going through. As a matter of fact, I know that our society has been facing this pandemic for the last two years, uh, probably going into the third year. We don't know. But I believe that in this season that God is calling for the prayer warriors. Do you hear me? The prayer warriors. One thing that, that I learned in, um, in, in, the, in the military when I went to uh, basic training, 13 Bravo, uh, field artillery, uh, they showed us how to give ourselves a shot when we get wounded and keep moving. And sometime as a prayer warrior, my God, uh, sometime you you have been wounded. Uh, it could be wounded by sickness or wounded by a betrayal or lies or somebody hurt you. No matter wh wh whatever it is, you have been wounded. But in prayer, when you're talking about persistence, no matter what you are facing, no matter uh, the delay, no matter what you see that may be moving in a negative way, Listen, uh, you you as a soldier, as a believer, have to learn how to give yourself a spiritual shot and keep on moving. 
In other words, keep on praying. Keep on believing God. Keep on um, having faith and knowing that no matter what's happening, that God's plan is still going to manifest itself in your life and for your life. And so my word, uh, my encouraging word to you today is keep on praying. Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you're going through something right now, and I know we're all going through something, some are less than others, uh, or, or no matter what um, that going through is, is big to you. May not be big to somebody else, but if it's big to you, it's big to God. And that's the area uh, that we need to give to God. Open up that that emotional uh, door of your life and let God in and don't give up in prayer. This is the time to press in prayer like you have never pressed before. It's time for us as people of God to be adamant, to be intentional. My God, to press. Um, it reminds me, and I'm not, and I'm done after this. It reminds me of uh, my wife. We had six beautiful children, and thank you, Jesus. We have just become <laughs> empty nesters. Amen. Praise God. As a matter of fact, my second oldest, he's just he just turned uh, uh, 31. Uh, praise God. My oldest son, 32. And uh, my youngest child, he's, uh, and, and between that, I won't go through all of that, but uh, my youngest child is 19 and uh, he's second year in, uh, in, in college. But I want to share with you uh, how my wife would uh, just bring these children forth. You know, I would hold her hand while she was in labor. You know, she's in the labor room and, and here I am with myself, you know, not understanding the pain of what she's going through. And my wife never took any epidural or anything. She didn't want to take it. She brought them a strong woman. Do you hear me? She just brought them forth. Yes. And just, I remember watching the monitor when, when she have a pain, it would, it would go up and then it would come back down. But I, I noticed something that, that when the doctor would come in and, and prepare for her to bring forth that child, he, he said, he would say, or she would say in the next pain, I want you to push my God. Come on here. Glory to God. I love when my wife talk about this because you know, when you had the baby and you had the pain, you can probably talk about it a little, a little bit better, but, but in my, my experience in watching uh and i would be the coach and telling her come on baby push push here it is push and and that next pain and and, and remember the closer that baby get into uh and into coming into the world the the heavier the harder the pain and 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 every time she felt the pain the doctor would say push uh-uh, uh-uh, don't, don't hold back. Come on, push it, take it, bear down everything that's within you and bring that baby out. What am I saying to somebody today that although you may be facing some pain of life, my God, although you may be facing some things that you just don't like or you just don't understand or you just don't get, this is the time to push, hallelujah, like you have my shia. Hey, glory to God, like you have never pushed before prayer warriors, I'm talking to you today. It is time for the prayer warriors to come to the forefront of the battle and push. And you might be going through sickness, pain, uh, some hard situations, children cutting up. Sometimes we say spouse cutting up, or whoever is cutting up around you that 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 really just struck your heart in the wrong way. Listen, I want to tell you today: don't you dare stop praying. Get up right now. Yeah, you brother, you sister. You, I don't know who you are, but I want to tell you today that it's time for you to be persistent. It's time for you to persevere no matter what you feel. I command you to push. And then Jesus said, listen, God, God said, even in that same text, he said, if the unjust judge can move for you, um, even when you persist, I'm just kind of paraphrasing. He says, I will move for you speedily. So uh, if you want your answer, if you want your breakthrough, if you want your healing, keep on being persistent, keep on persevering in prayer, and God promised that he will move for you speedily in Jesus' name. God bless you. I pray that this word has blessed somebody. And listen, it's time for the warriors to rise up. It's time for us to pray in Jesus' name. God bless. My, 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 my. You got me oh, ready to pray. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> he will come speedily. Speedily. I love that example oh, when the pain got to the highest point. Push. Good God. Lord of God. Come on here. <laughs> Push somebody. Hallelujah. Push. 
Glory to God. Pain push, pray push. until something happens. <laughs> Good God of mine. Woo yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Make me want to shout up in here. Get up and run around the room. <laughs> Oh, Hallelujah. I appreciate that, my brother. Come Praise on, God. man. You got to lead us in prayer. After all that word, we got to pray. Come on and pray. Lead us. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. We thank you, my thank God. You, Lord. Lord Jesus, we honor you. We magnify yes, you. Father. Glorify you, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God, not because of what you can do, but of what you will do. We yeah, pray yeah. you in advance, my God, for that brother, for that sister, for that mother, for that father. My yeah. God, we thank you for moving on their behalf. Father, yeah, those that may be discouraged in prayer, those that may be discouraged regarding their situation, circumstances. Father, yeah. I pray encouragement over every individual under the sound of my voice. Go throughout every country, every state, every neighborhood, every city in Jesus' name and touch. And God, break and destroy everything that's not like you. And those that are may have been tormented by the enemy because they, they, they may feel like there's no hope or no yeah, help God. for that situation. Father, we call on help for that person in Jesus' yes, name. Sir. Those yes, that may sir. feel discouraged, despondent, their heads yes, are bowed sir. down. Father, lift up the bowed down heads in yes, Jesus' name sir. and let them know that you are the hope of glory and you are the answer to their problems, to their yes, situations. Sir. I speak to that father and I command him to stand. I speak to that mother, I command yes, her to sir. keep on praying in Jesus' name. And Father, we've learned today Jesus. that though we may be going through situations and circumstances i thank you that we are here to press on through my yes, god yes. i thank yes. you this this day that you have you have put an encouragement in us god that although we're facing some situations some some sicknesses and and some uh, financial difficulties and and father the cycle of the enemy is constantly trying to hold us bound and captive we are grateful that even through our prayer that we can yeah. press a shaya we can press in prayer and father you will answer us speedily in yeah. jesus name and so we glorify your name we thank you for thank moving you. on our behalf and moving yes. for that person that may be hurting that may be facing some obstacles in their life god we Thank you. Bless this Thank prayer you, line Jesus. like never before. Let the word of life go out to every individual yes, and cause them yes, to rise up to the occasion. And Father, let the Holy Ghost begin to prevail in that situation in Jesus' yes. name. And God, let them see what you Hallelujah. see for the hour for their lives yes, in Jesus' name. God, yes. I thank you. The enemy may mean it for good. But God, get the glory, hallelujah. My God, God. get the glory, get the glory. get the glory, hallelujah. Get yes. the glory out of their lives in Jesus' name. We know that your word says that this present suffering is not yes. even compared, hallelujah, to the glory of God that shall be revealed in yes. their lives. And so, yes. Father, I thank you that as a thank result you, of Jesus. this word that has gone on the inside, that has gone into the recesses of their soul, that Father is going to take is going to take life, and they're going to bring forth in Jesus' name. So we yes. thank you for strength to bring forth, and we believe everything that we need is done because of your word in yes. Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Yes. In Jesus' name, in, name in your name, God. There's yes. power in your name, deliverance in your name, healing yes. in your name, in Jesus' name, in yes. your divine name. It is so in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Well, Lord, and I just amen. come in agreement with amen. every prayer, every petition, every yes, heart's cry, Lord God. Yes. You know every person amen. that's crying out to you. Ah, right glory now. To God. God, I thank you that you Hallelujah. will answer us speedily, O oh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, that you will not despise our prayer, yes, that you are yes, attentive God. and leaning mm. even your ear toward us to hear our hearts cry. Oh, oh God, give us your people mm. a holy boldness and oh, a, a, a persistence lord god Thank to you, press Jesus. in and to mm. push oh god ah, even yeah, yeah. in the times of pains to push oh, even in the times of disappointments oh, to push even mm. in the times of frustrations yes. to push oh god mm. help us to press 
and not mm. give up hope. Help us to faint not, O King. Hallelujah. You promised that in due season yes, we yes. would reap. Holy one, I speak reaping oh, season over your people mm. today. That Hallelujah. as we press in and press oh, on, Lord. God, we will reap an abundant Thank harvest according to mm. your divine word ah, yeah, and yeah. your will Thank for you, our Jesus. lives. I plead the blood of Jesus over every heart, oh, every blood. mind, every person blood. listening under the sound of my voice. Blood. Every lost soul, God, Hallelujah. draw by your spirit. Mm. Let none perish, Holy One. If you've caused us to intersect, let it oh, be a life-changing interaction, God. That Thank none you. would leave this platform yes. lost, is my Hallelujah. prayer. That God, you would draw the mm. multitudes to hear your word yes. and to heed your word and to yes. give you their heart in yes. the mighty name of Jesus. In the name Bless of Jesus. Pastor Ken, uh, Kenneth, Thank Lord God, and his you, Lord. wife and their family. Bless yes, their ministry. Bless thank the you, work Jesus. of their hands and oh, all that you ordain for them in this oh, yeah. season, oh God. I thank you for using him mightily mm. to encourage Hallelujah. us today. Continue to Hallelujah. use him for your glory. Let your name be praised. Every time he opens mm. his lips, may the very oh, words of God pour thank forth, you, God, that lives would be transformed oh, in, glory to God. in the mighty name Hallelujah. of Jesus. And thank God, you, we Jesus. do give you thanks. We do thank give you. you praise. We do Hallelujah. give you the glory. We do Amen. give you the honor. You are Thank worthy you, to be praised. There oh, is none Lord. like you, not beside Hallelujah. you, not even close oh, to you, O King of Kings Hallelujah. and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah, God. Oh, we Lord. worship you in this place, O okay? King. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. 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 We bless your holy Lord. name. You, now, Jesus. Lord, Father, Thank hear you. every petition yes. and every cry and answer. In oh, Jesus' name, Jesus. speedily, oh God. Yes, God. In Jesus' name, in we Jesus pray. Name. Amen. And amen. Amen. amen and amen. amen. Bless amen. his holy name. Glory Thank to you. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness, O King. Thank you for your word, Lord God. Thank you even for your man servant today, God. Bless him and be with him. Hallelujah. You know what every person stands in need of, God. Yeah. Somebody needs Jesus today. Yes. You came to this platform not even knowing that it was an divine, it was a divine yeah. interaction, it was a divine intervention, it was a divine yeah. setup. God yeah. has a way of putting you in the right place at the right time to get your attention. You Thank have you. never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then today is the day to make it right. Today is the day to say, yes, I receive him. Because as my brother said, this is a season that we need to be pressing and we need to be praying. And God mm. doesn't listen to the prayers of sinners. But watch this. All have sinned and fall mm. short of glory of God. The difference yeah. between a sinner who's listened to and a sinner who isn't is Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> his righteousness because yes. he never sinned. His righteousness is put on me when I accept him. It's imputed yes. to me. Think of it like you got zero on your account and he got a million dollars and he transfers the million dollars to your account. His righteousness <laughs> is put in your account until God no longer sees you at a, as a sinner, but a yes. saint. But it starts with you saying, yes, yes, Hallelujah. I accept Jesus. Yes, yes, I want all of my sins forgiven. Yes, yes. I want to be in relationship with God. And yes. then somebody here, maybe you made that confession, but you backslid. You got out of step with God. You start doing your own thing, your old stuff, gliding yes. back to old habits. <laughs> Renew your re and refresh with your relationship Hallelujah. with him today. You can pray this prayer with mm -hmm. me. If you don't know Christ and don't know for sure that you're saved, never accepted Christ, whatever the case, pray this prayer with me. Bow your heart before the Lord and say this. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe you are the son of God. I believe you are the son of God. I believe you died for every one of my sins. I believe you died for every one of my sins. I believe you were buried. I believe you were buried. And God has raised you from the dead. And God has raised you from the dead. Come into my heart, Jesus. Come into my heart, Jesus. Take control of my life. Take control of my life. I need you, Lord. I need you. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. I'm turning to you. I'm turning to you. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for my sins. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for my sins. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. 
Amen, amen, amen. And you prayed that prayer. Today is your day to mark yeah. on your calendar your yeah. new life in Christ. Because if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Yeah. That's why we yes. say we're born again. The spirit rebirths us. Yeah, your hands look the same, your face look the same, but someone on the inside is new and God <laughs> is going to work it out in you. Yes. Praise be to God. I'm excited for you. If you made that confession, I want you to email me and let me know. Email Rev Letty Carr, R E V L E T T I E C A R R at whosoever believes dot O R G. I promise you, I'll respond. I'm excited to see what God's going to do in your life. And check yeah. out whosoeverbelieves.org. As I said, it's a platform where you can share, you can post, you can grow, you can ask questions, you can fellowship with others who are seeking to uh, learn more about the things of God and just want to fellowship in God. It's a positive atmosphere. Check it out. Whosoeverbelieves.org. Hit that button that says join the conversation. And then get in a good church. No person was ever intended to be a lone Christian. Uh -huh. The beautiful thing about this season is God said, okay, you won't come to church. I'm bringing a church to you. There's a zillion churches online. Ain't no excuse for nobody to, to not be in church. That's Can right. I tell you, First Baptist Church of Glen Arden is off the chain. Better it know is it. a powerful ministry. Yes. You will grow in your faith. You will learn the things of God. Bible study is kicking off again. Check it out. First Baptist Church of Glen Arden, fbcglenarden.org. Mm -hmm. And I believe God will bless you. The pastor, yes. John K. Jenkins Sr., is a man of yeah. God who loves God. Yes, yes. And you yes. will grow under his leadership. Amen. Uh, again, I want to thank everyone for joining us. Got to thank my brother. Good God, boy, <laughs> you just blew us on out here. <laughs> you just blew us on out of here. Praise I thank God. God for you. Amen. And Thank uh, God Lord well. willing, we'll see you guys again at 316. Have a marvelous day. Amen. God bless. Amen. Bless you.